in its war on the insect-borne diseases. The development of this weapon affords a spectacular example of the effective way in which all of the scientific agencies of this country have cooperated with the medical departments of the armed forces. DDT is now being used by the Army in all of our tropical theaters. However, there is still much to be learned about it, and therefore our research collaborators continue their investigations in the laboratory and in the field. We already know of the miraculous results it has produced, but its full potentialities against all the insect and spread disease must be determined. Today, nearly 40 years after DDT was banned in the U.S., we continue to live with its long-lasting effects. For instance, in food, the U.S. Department of Agriculture found DDT breakdown products in 60% of heavy cream samples, 42% of kale greens, 28% of carrots, and lower percentages in many other foods. In our bodies, DDT breakdown products were found in the blood of 99% of the people tested by the Center for Disease Control. Health impacts. Girls exposed to DDT before puberty are five times more likely to develop breast cancer in middle age, according to the President's Cancer Panel. Additionally, because DDT bioaccumulates in the food chain, higher order predators such as the bald eagle, osprey, and peregrine falcon suffered from mal a malfunction in calcium metabolism resulting in thinning of eggshells, which led to near collapse of their populations. Only recently have these birds recovered in number and only due to the ban of DDT. I consider this amazing chemical the most valuable contribution of our wartime medical research program to the future health and welfare, not only of this nation, but of the entire world. Uh -huh.